But, like, this is a look. Like, what do you guys think? I feel like this is cute. It's different. It's something I'm not really used to. Like, I'm not a natural girl like that. Y'all know I'm always wearing my wigs and all that. But, girl, I feel like this is a look, right? It's a look. Like, look at my hair. You keep getting on your boat. You and I just spend a mumbo. See, fair out of you, man. No clothes. The days keep burning. No smoke fills our clothes. Hey guys and welcome back to Half Baked Hair Reviews. I'm Angelique. So today I'm doing something a little bit different for you guys. This was my absolute first time trying Bantu knots and I have to say I am actually pretty impressed with the results that I got. Um, so I just wanted to walk you guys through how I got this look. I think it is looking super cute. I cannot believe this is my hair right now you guys so to achieve this look what i did was i parted my hair straight down the middle and then i sectioned it off and each of the two sections i just went in and added four different parting spaces and then i made boxes out of those sections so the product that i used to actually achieve this look i used three different products first i went in with my shea moisture jamaican black castor oil strengthen and restore treatment mask um it has shea butter peppermint and apple cider vinegar so i went in with this first because it's actually supposed to strengthen your hair fibers and then next i use this african pride moisture miracle coconut oil in baobab i can't say it baobab oil um and this is supposed to be used to hydrate and strengthen this is leave-in cream so this is also supposed to be another uh repair and what i really like about it is that it helps bring out the natural curls and coils that your hair has so this was really helpful adding that in there and then the last thing that i added in each section is this as i am classic double butter cream this has cocoa butter shea butter castor oil jojoba oil and sugar beetroot so what i found with these products is it was really good at moisturizing my hair these products definitely worked very well all together not only is it moisturizing it but the leave-in cream helps keep your hair soft and moisturize and maintain the curls um without your hair feeling all dried out meanwhile it's treating your hair and I just really like the style. So as you could see in the videos, I kind of was struggling with how I wanted the style to look. And like I said, since this was my first time doing the bantu knots i did have a little bit of issues actually unraveling them and separating them out so i did deal with a little bit of frizz and it wasn't necessarily laying the way that i wanted to at first i tried with a side part i switched the side part i tried to do like a little center part situation going on but i wasn't really liking how it came out but i do really like the finished look i really like how it looks in a ponytail and I like that my curls are still pretty defined, even though there's some frizziness in there. It kind of looks like this is just the look that I'm going for. I think I would separate my hair into less parting space next time. Um, just because it was a lot of them to unravel. I feel like the fact that I wrapped it so tight did make it a little more difficult to unravel them. But I do think that the routine that I used was definitely helpful if you're looking for a style like this. Especially if you're a first time wearer of Bantu knots. I did find that for me, the easiest way to do it was to pre-part my hair and separate and ponytail each section. So that as I went along one by one, each section was already pre-parted for me. So all I really had to worry about was making sure each string was moisturized and then wrapping it up and I feel like parting it ahead of time definitely helps to make sure that you're getting each strand the proper moisture versus just kind of putting it in your hands and wiping it through your hair and hoping that your hair gets equally moisturized I hope this video was helpful for any of you guys who maybe have never done Bantu knots or just wanted to see how they would come out. And for me, just like I said, this is my first time doing it. I have 4C natural hair, but when I did start this process out, my hair was already pre-straightened. I don't use any perms or anything like that. I just went in, I think a couple of days earlier with my straightening comb actually and just kind of straightened my hair out so that it would be easier to part and everything like that. So I do feel like if you want to get a pretty decent result like I did, it would make a good amount of sense to just go and make sure you number one pre 
pre uh, part your hair ahead of time into the sections that you want. Um, number two, just make sure you're getting enough moisturizer on each of those strands. Um, number three, just definitely make sure you're doing a good amount of bantu knots if you want these sort of tight curls. I want to say all together, I probably did about 15 on each side, give or take. It was definitely in that realm, so around 30 bantu knots all together. I mean, this style wasn't too hard to get once I decided, like, now nah, I'm going to just throw it up into a ponytail. But styling it without a ponytail, that was a whole nother story. And I would like to try the style again, but without doing a ponytail, kind of seeing what I can get away with. Um, but as a whole, I really do like it. So that's pretty much all I have to say about this hairstyle. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, just make sure you give me a like, give me a subscribe, comment down below. Any of the units you want to pick up, any of the styles you want me to try. And until then, I hope to see you soon. Bye. Thank you.